What is going on guys, it's your boy Jacob here or Face Tico and today's video is going to be a little bit different because obviously as you can tell from the title of this video and as you probably can tell if you're following me on social media on Twitter when I tweeted earlier today, something pretty bad happened that I need to let you guys know about and I figured I'd just sit down here and talk because very unfortunate situation, uh, I'm not trying to sit here and blame on other people, it's partly my fault, partly me messing up and partly me. Some of this is my fault, I'm going to let you guys know the full and honest story but yes, my YouTube 1 million plaque was stolen or taken from me. As you guys know, I hit a million not too long ago. It takes a while for you to get it. From when you hit a million to when you actually receive the plaque, it could be up to two to three months. It can actually be a pretty long time. It's quite of a long process as you probably have heard from other phase members or YouTubers in general. So basically when I hit a million, uh, we are, and as you guys have known for a while, we're trying to move out to LA and California. And we have been for a, quite some time. Didn't want to send it to this house if we weren't going to be here. I didn't want to have it laying around because there's a lot of people coming around here and I didn't want any damage and I didn't want to have it sent here and then having someone to pick it up and then having someone to send it to me in LA and California. It's kind of a long process. You don't really want to ship things like this too much. You don't want to have it shipped and like being thrown around with whatever. I don't want it to break. I don't want any damage. It's kind of like a computer. You don't want to ship that stuff, right? It's a very high risk of things like this getting damage. Obviously, it's a little bit less with this plaque. Packages like this doesn't always get taken care of in the right way. They throw it around. They do this. They do that. The car is bumping. I don't even know, but it's just, I just didn't want to ship it this from here and this from here. Deal with someone having to pick it up here for me because I wouldn't be here. So I said, all right, who can I ship it to in California, in LA to make this process a little bit easier? As you guys know, Megan lives out in California. So I said, hey, do you mind if I ship my 1 million plaque to you? And she said, no, nah, it's all good. But she happened to move, so I had to change the address one more time. So I ended up shipping it to uh, one of Megan's friends. Long story short, it got shipped to an address where no one was living at anymore. It was an apartment building. It was too late for me to change the address one more time because I had already been changing the address twice and it had already been processed and shipped and there was nothing they could do about it it was going to be sent to this address around a week ago i got an email saying your item is on the way from ups or whatever that email you know hey you got an item on the way you'll be delivered this and that on time or whatever and i try to contact them i get it changed i try to even upgrade my ups account and change the address it wouldn't work so i said all right let's just try and be there whenever it gets delivered if not if they can't deliver it, they're gonna take it back and call me up, because that's what they do here. We A lot of times here, they've been trying to deliver something and we just couldn't take it and we weren't here. Something happened and they simply took it back they left a little note and then you change the address or call them back up or pick it up at the UPS store close to you. And I thought that was gonna happen, but no, guess what they did? This is the only part that I'm blaming them on. I should have been there. I should have been more aware of when it was gonna be delivered and been there and received it and taken care of it, but I wasn't because I messed up a little bit and that's my fault. But in my opinion, especially not in a apartment building where there are people walking all the time and they simply left it outside of the door in an apartment building where there are people walking 24 seven. No signature, didn't receive anything, didn't even know when it was received till a couple of days after when it said, hey, this item has been delivered. I'm like, what? And I checked it and it has been delivered. So I let Megan know and her friend know and they went there and the item is not there. So they basically left my package outside of an apartment in a building where there are people walking. As I said, 24 seven, there's a lot of people, a lot of traffic and it was just laying there obviously because he got delivered, no note no signature, no nothing. I don't know if they can do that even, maybe they can. I'm not trying to blame them more anyways. I'm just saying it's kind of weird how they wouldn't just take it back because there's no signature. And I kind of feel like on YouTube side or part, there should be some kind of thing that's saying, do not deliver this if there is no one to receive it and take it inside. It's the same if, if you're ordering a camera, if you're ordering a computer, if you're ordering an expensive item, there should be some kind of like, this needs to be signed because you can't just leave it outside of a house. If it's bad timing, someone can literally just walk up and steal it. They're even for work, not even days. Not even hours, just a couple of minutes. If it's bad timing and someone sees, hey, they dropped off something that looks like a camera because sometimes it's not even wrapped. It's like a fucking cannon box. If the wrong person walks by, he'll fucking take it. Like, why not? You literally just grabbed a thousand dollar camera. Long story short, I'm not going to try and bug you guys anymore with this, but basically it was left outside of an apartment building and it's not there anymore and it says it was delivered and someone stole it. Someone took it. Someone straight up took the plaque. Someone straight up took my... 1 million plaque and I'm not, once again, this is partly my fault, but I still think it's ridiculous how an item or something like that, first of all, on YouTube send, doesn't have some kind of requirement that this needs to be signed. If not, bring it back to the UPS store, leave a note, this is the address you have a package at, or call this number and rearrange the delivery or something, anything like that, because that's, I have had that happen to me here before when I ordered a camera last time. 
I wasn't here, no one opened, so they took it back, they left a note saying, hey, you have a package, but we couldn't deliver it because no one was here to open the door and sign it. You know, I get that. That's why I think it's ridiculous. It was literally just put outside of an apartment. So yeah, it got stolen. Uh, after this video, I'm gonna try and contact YouTube, let them know what's up, maybe even link in this video to let them know I'm not playing around, I'm not trying to get two plaques. I'm not trying to like pull anything stupid here. Someone legit straight up stole my plaque outside of an apartment building and I will try my absolute hardest to get a new one as soon as possible, obviously. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know what actually happened, so there's no like, because people may seem like, wait, someone walked into the face house and stole it. Wait, you got it to the face house, but someone stole it. Wait, how could that happen, blah, blah, blah. So I'll let you guys know, this is what happened. Uh, on Honest truth, once again, kind of my fault as well, but I think it's ridiculous. I never ever thought they would just deliver something like that and just put it outside of an apartment without a signature, without nothing. So that I'm kind of pissed off about, but shit happens. Uh, I'm gonna try my absolute best to get one as soon as possible, as I said, but I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I should have a normal video going out tomorrow. Thank you, I love you. Thank you so much for all the support and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.